What's a baby boomer's greatest fear? Death? Not having your child get into an Ivy League school? Having your BMW uh, repossessed? No. It's aging. Losing the battle against gravity, having things sag. Getting wrinkled, turning gray, going bald. We value wealth, we value fame, we value power, but let youth fade and suddenly our priorities change. The crew of the Enterprise has faced so many threats, from deadly Klingon phasers to computers that kill, from all powerful entities who play with human lives to the threat of extinction, but never have they faced a threat quite like this one. Aging. This nightmare of nature befalls the crew of the Enterprise in the deadly years. Interesting parallel. I remember that while shooting the deadly years with its end of life theme, we were also hearing much gossip about the impending demise of the series. According to the rumor mill, the deadly years could very well have been our last episode. But, as television history would have it, we were saved yet again by the series' devotees who exercised their ingenuity. A woman named Bijo Trimble became known as the fan who saved Star Trek through her clever plan of obtaining the mailing lists of the World Science Fiction Convention and sci-fi booksellers. She urged all those people on the lists to put pen to paper and write letters expressing their dismay at the possible cancellation of the series. As a result, NBC was inundated with towering piles of viewer mail and decided to renew the series for another season thanks to B. Joe and what's perhaps known as one of the most successful chain letters ever. Spock, McCoy, Scotty, and Kirk was one of the greatest challenges to Star Trek's makeup artist, Freddie Phillips. Normally, such a task would have required a month to make the many molds to build up the various facial areas that allow the makeup artist to create uh, sagging jowls and chins and wrinkles and other signs of aging that had to be added. Fred had to be ready to shoot in 10 days. He hired 11 other makeup artists to work throughout the production, and we made the deadline. Captain Kirk aged pretty badly. Is the same going to happen to me? Hmm. 